Good evening everyone. Today me and Sunny will give a presentation on STN 5G. This is the outline of 5G in STN, generic architecture of STN, relationship between STN and 5G and conclusion and references. We'll give a brief description of 5G networks. This slide is an introduction of 5G networks. Mobile technology has evolved in the recent years from 1G to 2G. Now it's time for 5G. It is expected by 2025 5G will be launched and it is also expected that 5G will resolve majority of the speed issues and would be much more secure and high in performance. Now let's discuss the concept of SDN software defined networks. In order to understand software defined networks, we need to understand various types of early programmable networks. First, open signaling. The working group began in 1995 may believe that the separation between the communication hardware and software was necessary but challenging in nature. DCAN devolved control of ATM networks. The aim was to design and develop the necessary infrastructure for the control and management of ATM networks. Ethane, this is this was the main predecessor to OpenFlow in 2006. Its focus was to use utilizing centralized controller to manage policies and security in the network. Software-defined networks refers to the emerging networking process that gives and hopes to the change the limitation of current network infrastructure. First, it breaks the vertical integration by separating control plane from the routers and switches that forward the traffic to the data plane. With separation of the control and data planes network switches become the simple forwarding device. The control logic is uh, controlled by a logical centralized system known as controller. It uses its own protocols to manage the system. The main protocol used is the open flow protocol. Good evening everyone. My name is Sunny and I will continue with introduction of SDN. In this slide, general architecture of SDN is shown with three decoupled plan, application plan, control plan and data plan. The control plan is an abstraction of the network topology. The controller is the main component responsible for establishing flow table and data handling policies. The lowest layer which is known as data plan provides networking devices such as physical or virtual switches, routers and access points and is responsible for all data activities including forwarding, fragmentation and reassembly. The upper layer of SDN architecture is an application layer that defines rules and offers different services such as firewall, access control, IDS or IPS, quality of service, routing, proxy service and monitoring balancer. This slide shows comparison of classical architecture and SDN architecture. In classical architecture, implementation and configuration of network is complex and due to that operational cost involved is large whereas in SDN architecture as SDN separates the routing and forwarding decisions and networking elements from the data plan network administration and management becomes simple the stable differentiate main characteristics of SDN and classical architecture in this table Difference of main features of SDN and classical architecture is given. This slide is a comparison upon of open flow and forces. We have considered different parameters for the comparison. The four main features of SDN. First, the control and data planes are separated. Control functionality is removed from network devices that will become simple forwarding element. Forwarding decisions are flow based instead of destination base control logic is removed to SDN controller or network operating system it provides resources and abstraction to facilitate the programming of forwarding devices based on the logical centralization and abstract network view the network is programmable through software application running on the top of NOS and interacts with the underlying data plane devices Advantages of centralization in SDN. Tracking to and removing policies in consistencies are much easier in a centralized manner. It has positive implications for many policy types including centralized routing algorithms, firewalls and network monitoring methodology. Disadvantages. Well-known issue of single point of failure which downgrades a distributed system's resilience. It might get exploded by an internal attacker who suddenly has a central place to monitor and manipulate the network. In this example, SDN controller is in charge of three operating switches. 
Generator A generates production grade information whose destination is consumer A, whereas generator B is used for testing a new protocol. Controller was configured in such a way that upon detection of a traffic protocol produced by generator B is associated, information should be forwarded towards consumer B. When traffic from generator B reaches switch 1, the controller is contacted by open flow con protocol. The controller through pre-configured knowledge is able to determine that the final destination for such kind of traffic should be consumer B instead of consumer A. Nowadays, open flow protocol is found in various business items. In this example, open flow is used to validate messages permitting the controller to go about 801x authenticated in a user specific way. The advantages of STN are enhancing configuration, improving performance, traffic management, end to end traffic control, energy efficient control. There are some challenges in STN like reliability, scalability, elasticity, security, performance, and many more. The main attributes of STN which are related with security constraints are abstraction, logical centralized intelligence, pro programmability, easy to implement, efficient to configure. Tools and environments in SDN are emulation and simulation tools, available software switch platforms, native SDN switches, code verification and debugging. Application of SDN first is enterprise networks, data center, infrastructure based wireless area network, optical network, home and small businesses. How we can improve network and management with SDN? First, it is much easier to introduce new ideas in the network through a software program and adaptation is also simple. SDN introduces the benefits of centralized approach to network configuration opposed to distributed management. In order to express and implement reactive high policies in an easier manner, Procera, an event-driven network control framework based on SDN process. Procera is based on functional reactive programming. It can deploy in campus networks so as to handle complex and error prone enterprises. One major problem for home network is they offer only limited visibility into home broadband performance and its overall status. Introducing STN in 5G networks, the STN controller will have global control over the network when STN switches will simply follow data forwarding instruction from the controller. Applications are implemented on the top of the controller to define the behavior of the switches and APs, thus creating a reconfigurable 5G helmet. The separation of data forwarding switches and control plane enables easier implementation of new protocol and function. In supporting SDN enabled 5G, appropriate SDN protocols such as open flow and simple network management protocol will be added to base stations, APs and wireless switches through an external standard application programming interface. SDN controller is just a program running on the server. It can be placed anywhere in the 5G network. It enables flexible connection, fast rerouting, real-time network management, consistent authentication and privacy protection are also manageable. When network size is large, then agility and flexibility is challenging. Then there is a need of robust control over the network. This can be done by flexible and programmable network components. Management of cloud-based networks is quite difficult as the, it has several operations and services. Operators and service providers want vendors independent equipment to reduce the cost in the infrastructure operations and management. All these features in the large network are possible through the SDN framework. Network slice is defined as end-to-end -end logical networks running on a physical network mutually isolated with independent control and management which can be created on demand. As data requirements from different industries are increasing, to fulfill and control all data we require simple configuration. Network slice concept can be helpful in 5G for such applications. In figure, example of network slicing is given, which shows three different slices, mobile network, healthcare, and Internet of Things over physical infrastructure of an organization. Virtualization is a key process for network slicing as it enables effective resource sharing among slices. It is the abstraction of resources using appropriate technique. Orchestration is defined as the continuing process of selecting resources to fulfill client service demands in an optimal manner. An example of virtualization is shown in figure. The infrastructure provider owns and provides physical network 
where a tenant leases virtual resources from one or more infrastructure provider to provide network services to its users. End user consumes the services supplied by the tenant without providing them to any other business users. Now we will move forward towards proposed architectures of SDN in 5G. Before going further, I will give brief about ONF organization. ONF stands for Open Networking Foundation. It is a non-profit operator-led organization serves as the umbrella for a number of projects building solutions towards SDN. The SDN architecture provided by the ONF comprises an intermediate control plan that dynamically configures and abstracts the underlying forwarding plan resources so as to deliver tailored services to clients located in the application plan. This is well aligned with the requirements of 5G network slicing, which needs to satisfy a wide range of service demands in an agile and cost-effective manner. This architecture of SDMN focuses on specific security problems in SDMN. As shown in figure, this architecture provides security services through a security domain which is loosely coupled with network domain through a logically centralized security controller. This security architecture is similar to SDN architecture. There are three main advantages of this architecture, robust security, flexibility, and independence. The demo setup of security SDMN architecture with current LTE technology is shown in this figure. In the given table, outcome of latency performance test of SDMN security architecture is shown. In this graph, comparison of with security and without security architecture is shown. The SelfNet is a 5G public-private partnership supported by the European Commission Horizon 2020. It has started to create enhanced approach of SDN in 5G. The SON architecture is proposed by SelfNet for SDN in 5G. This slide shows different network function types in proposed SDN architecture by SelfNet. 